Hey everybody, we're back for round three. We're in the finals, we're undefeated. We've won the die roll, we're gonna play first because that's what our deck loves to do. We've got two drop, three drop, five drop. Totally fine, totally fine. I will lead with this planes, although it actually doesn't matter uh, because I top deck the planes or I top deck Anafenza. Doesn't matter either way, I'm not gonna be able to cast her. So we're gonna go Sensei Golden Tail. Ooh, cliff top retreat. Up against blue, eh? So this is control a mountain or plains. Right, 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 right. It's not a tango land. Ooh, war leader's helix. Don't mind if I do. Let's get in for two. We're up against mono blue so far. That smells like shenanigans. So let's drop a Lesha. So we can potentially just war leader's helix, whatever he plays. Blue, red. Staff of Domination. Sure. You play cute stuff, I'll play things. Anna Fenza, how you doing? In for five. Let's drop little Miss Anna Fenza. Pass the turn. Hit a land and we can drop a five four. So you can gain a life, you can untap a creature, you can tap a creature, which might be what you plan on doing this turn. So uh, I will say, go ahead, tap a creature on me. Tap my three, two. You got it. I will smack you for four, take you to nine. Drop a Mystic Monastery, pass the turn. I've got 11 on board slash in hand. If I hit a land, I can come in with a 6-1. Oh, passing the turn. All right, well, tap my creature. Well, I will take you to 5 and then hit you for 4. You're going to have to... Ooh. No, that's not how that works. I hit him for four. I could then hit him for four. I don't quite want to do that. Can you do three to player? You can do three to player. Yeah, I'll do that. Pay two life. Um, drop Kamal. We'll smack him for three at the end of his turn. We'll bolster Kamal just because we can. And then he's going to need a way to counter the Helix. We win! Awesome! <laughs> Our opponent did nothing. They cast a Staff of Domination. So we just want to continue being aggressive. So I don't think we side anything in. I think we just hope for another super aggressive hand. That game took three minutes. Wow. All right, game two. We've got ourselves a Tap Land and a Shock Land. We've got uh, a pretty decent two drop. We've got three drops. It's a, it's a less good keep, but I will keep it. Hopefully I draw something and don't have to shock that in, but it would not be the end of the world at all if I shock it in. And I don't have to shock it in. Not yet, anyways. We can eight and a half tails off of that. Although, I don't know, maybe I do shock it in, just because then I have it up for Crypt Swap the next turn without the shock it in and play nothing, which is a giant tell. Search your library for a legendary creature reveal put in your hand. Uh-oh. What's your combo? Is it Progenitus? Is it... What else could he be cheaty pantsing in? Dragon Lord Atarka. Gross. Be a shame if that got crib swapped. Planes. Eight and a half tails. Pass of the turn. So my four drop will probably be Jazzle. Yeah. Courser, you got it. Azami, Lady of Scrolls, tap it on tap to wizard, you control, draw a card. Intriguing. Well, that Courser stops me dead in my tracks, so we will play a brother Yamazaki. And pass the turn. Continue building just towards a giant Jazzle attack. Island, Omnath. Gross. So he's like big mana ramp into big things, I think. 
Yeah, that's what his plan is. So he's going to go get a land and put it in the battlefield tapped. You got it. You can keep building towards Atarka all you want. I am just going to smack her down. She doesn't have haste, right? Oh, but she does do five damage. Well, I can't stop that regardless, so. And is that going to be coming down next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven if he has another land. Or no, you don't. If he has a land on top, it could come down. So I probably don't want to play out Jazzle because he'll just die. Play out Tajik instead. Play out Tajik instead. E yes. Although, I could just leave the mana up. He casts a Tarka. I give both of these pro-white. And I... Then make a Tarka white. White one, white one. No, I can't do that. So yeah, let's just play Tajik. And pass of the turn. Uh, there is a land on top, but it's a Karoo land. So Explosive Revelation, I'm apt to hit a 3-drop. Apt to hit a 3-drop. Not the best. Karoo land, you got it. Bounce a land. Play that land. You got a Prime Speaker on top. So whenever... No, it enters the battlefield with X plus, plus, plus 1 plus 1, where X is the greatest power, which would be 2. Whenever it enters the battlefield, draw a card equal to its power. Cool, cool, cool. So, most of my creatures are going to die next turn anyways. So I think I shock in the foundry. And then I swing in with the team. Is that what I do? And then Tajik will be gigantic. Yeah, let's do that. In with the team. Tajik is gigantic. Get a bounce spell. He's got something. Venser, he does have a bounce spell. Gross. Back to my hand. Well, that went not the way I wanted it to. So the brothers are going to die. Oop. Brothers are going to trade with Venzer. And then I could pay to keep Eight and a Half Tails alive, but she's just going to die when Tarka comes down. So I think we will do that. And then maybe Explosive Revelation the Courser. I don't like this play. I'm not winning the game. It's turn five, and I'm not even close to winning the game. That's not how my deck plays out. Planes, bottom of the library. Odric is what we drew. Cool. So we hit a four drop. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'll play that land that he bounced back. Seven, he can play a Tarka. We can crib swap it. But he also has a prime speaker. He's got things. Lots of things. Man. That uh, 2-4 just blanked us. Drop Prime Speaker, I assume? Or no, you drop a Tarka because then you can Prime Speaker and she would be gigantic and you would draw a billion cards. Ooh, okay, drop a 4-7. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm super dead. So that is a 4-7 and that's a 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to get hit for 1. Man, just blanked me. All right, let's make that 4-7 not as threatening anymore. And let's drop a 2-1. So then we can Crib Swap a Tarka. That deals with another threat. 
Prime Speaker will get four counters. Oh, Mana Reflection. Hole. Oh. Gross. So yeah, we need to be even more aggressive. Even more aggressive than we already are. Compulsive research, you got it. Discard a land. No attacks? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Gain a life, yay. Draw Heliod. Well, it's not the worst, right? It's not the worst, but no. Let's play Tajik, because he'll live through Atarka. Uh, Sensei Golden Tail is not going to live through the turn, so we'll attack and trade with the Sapperling, I assume. Hmm. I don't think I can win. I don't think I can win. But what I can do is try to buy time, learn his deck a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six. All of the manas. Plays Prime Speaker before Atarka. Okay. Well, it's a five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve mana on board. Nine cards in hand. Omnath. All right. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm super dead. This is just beyond what my deck can handle. I will gain a life, though. Ooh. Well, he can pay all of the mana for that. He can pay all of the mana. So we will drop a Heliod, something else that won't die to a Tarka. And we're at three devotion. Odric would put us at five devotion. Fills his mana fill of green. So he has two, four, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 26 mana available. Yeah. Pretty gross. Azami, you got it. Sure, I will block. Take five. Good old indestructible. Gain a life up to fifteen. Yay. Um so I suppose I will drop Odric. Turn on Heliod. And then attack in with my two two and my five six indestructible vigilancies. Oh, not other creatures? Other creatures you control have vigilance. Good to know. Good to know. And I accidentally skipped my attack phase. Boo earns. <laughs> Ugh. All right, Atarka me. He's got 11 cards left in his library. Maybe he just accidentally draws himself out. Wish I could flicker that prime speaker. That would be awesome. Atarka, blow up Odric. Make Heliod go away. I will block your 15 15. I will take 6. Go to 9. Gain a life. Go to 10. Just cast the rest of your hand, man. <laughs> You've got some ridiculous amount of mana you got 14 just sitting there um so i will gain a life go up to 10 a mountain cool um one two three 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll play Jazzle. Turn Heliod back online. He's going to fill his green mana pool up. I guess. He's going to end the turn. All right, I'll crib swap your Atarka now then. End the turn. <laughs> oh. Draw a card, be my guest. Go down to nine cards. Down to eight cards. Oh, I wish I could flicker that prime speaker. Flicker it and make him lose. <laughs> Regrowth. Sure. What did he bring back? Benzer. Sure. You should Benzer your prime speaker. Oh, no, that goes to hand. It doesn't flicker it. Venzer, Flicker Tajik. Hit me for a bajillion. Sure, be cute. Waste time. Super happy with that. Ouch! Down to negative 37. Oh, that hurt a whole great big bunch. Ooh, pariah. That would have been interesting. So we need to be more aggressive, way more aggressive. So I need this. This will turn off his mana reflections. Let's get rid of the cute things. Cute things being this, which he can pay for totally. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess nothing else really, right? Nothing else that we can really do to be super aggressive further. So we'll go with that, and we will just hope that he doesn't get time. I'll play first. We have a totally unkeepable hand, unfortunately. We have to have creatures, and we have none. Mull. Well, there we go. We've got two three drops. I will keep that one, and I will put a Hero's Blade on top. Boy, will I ever. Boy, will I ever. Turn, to your, turn two Hero's Blade, turn three giant Alasha. He's got a bivouac. I've got a front or a hero's blade. Steam vents tapped. Awesome. Gigantor Alasha. She's a 6-4. Go ahead and play a 2-4, I dare ya. More likely, he'll just remove this somehow. That's the more likely outcome. Reclamation Sage. Oh! Oh, talk about bull. Perfect card. Perfect card. All right, we will drop a Sacred Foundry tapped. We will get in for just three. And we'll drop a brother's Yamazaki. <laughs> Perfect response to a card that he didn't even know that I had. So that may just end us. Courser, trading post. We're going to have to hope uh, with an explosive Whatchamadoodle. Ooh, an ablation. That's instant speed, too. Um, no, we're going to go for the hope. Go for the hope. War Leader's Helix. Exactly what we needed. In for three. I don't like that it draws him two cards, but... If we need to, we can use it. Farhaven Elf, go get a land, you got it. Hmm, I'm wondering if we just War Leader's Helix Reclamation Sage. Sensei Golden Tail. Nifty. Um so. So so so. I think we just come in. 
he wants to trade Sage for the brothers, that's fine by me. Because the brothers will just come back next turn. Yep, that's fine. We can drop a sensei. Keep up the ablation. Next turn we'll be coming in for six. Dragon Lord Atarka. What a jerk. So we have to ablation that Atarka, unfortunately, and have no creatures left. He got it. I will take the one. I really don't want you to draw cards, but I can't have an Atarka sitting there. Man, perfect responses. And we just get a land. Pass the turn. Start the slow march towards death. Watch him just replay the Atarka. Don't you dare. <laughs> Zendikar Resurgent. Oh, cute deck. Cute deck. Doesn't even attack. He's that confident. So I will drop a Jazzle then. He can then cast his hand. 16 mana available. And we have a Warrior's Helix. Huh. Lightning Surge. Bloody hell. Hit me for one. <laughs> the other brothers, Yamazaki. Pass the turn. Man, that Atarka was just perfect timing. So was that Reclamation Sage, for that matter. Ooh, 18 mana available. Four cards in hand. Trading post. All right. Make all the goats. Make all the goats. Fourteen mana. Why? Why are you making fourteen mana? What X spells are there? Crush of tentacles. Surged. Sure. You got an eight eight. Send a car resurgence back on the board. You got it. Heliod. Well, you do nothing, so we need a chump blocker. So I need my pariah, or I need my... Well, even my pariah doesn't really do it. I need... Um, that pacifism or I need crib swap I need something to take care of that octopus Dacra Mystic what is that doing in his deck huh I guess it's just to dig for the combo pieces Omnath you got it well we are dead it's just going to take a while in for eight. I will take, or no, I won't take that eight. I will block that eight. And he's a three, two now. And we can go Heliod. 
And then we take uh, lethal. So I'm just going to concede because I don't want him to have that. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I think this deck was fantastic. It did a lot of good work. Uh, it even beat him the first game. But yeah, if we stumbled, if we didn't get in early, uh, his deck was just so much power once he gets out those uh, mana reflections or Zendikar resurgence, etc. And super, super, super lucky responses from him. Perfect timing on the Atarka. Perfect timing on the Reclamation Sage. But super fun nonetheless. Super, super fun. We two and one. I'm pretty okay with that for a cube that I know very little about. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that. Let me know how your legendary cube experiences are going down in the comments below. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at the Mana Leak. That's L E E K, like the vegetable, not the card. And you can also find me on Facebook at Facebook.com/slash/TheManaLeak. You've already found me here on YouTube. You've got that comment section down below. If you enjoy my videos, click the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button if you haven't already, so that you can see the latest videos as they come out. But as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you all next.